Hi guys, this is Ben from Android Planet and today I'm going to tell you how can you install Meepop on any Android phone. So without any further ado, let's get started. The reason why I'm making this video is because one of our users wanted to know how can he install Meepop on his phone. That was Redmi Note 3. So, I would like to give a big thanks to that person to give me this idea. Now let's proceed further. Keep in mind that if you have a rooted phone, then it's well and good. Otherwise, go ahead and root your phone first. And secondly, if you have a nearly stuck Android experience on your phone, then you can follow the non-root procedure. And the non-root procedure includes installing the APK directly on your phone. Otherwise, if you have a very customized UI such as MIUI, EUI or even cool UI, then you have to root your phone. Now, if you have a unrooted phone and stock Android experience, then go ahead and just install the Meepop APK. Otherwise, follow the steps which I am going to show you now. As you can see, I have two zip files in front of me. That is mod.zip and normal.zip. The difference between them is that the mod.zip has a customized Meepop APK and the normal zip is any normal Meepop that you would get on MIUI. So if you want the customized one, then you can extract the mod.zip. Otherwise, go for the normal.zip. I've extracted the normal.zip. Now open your root explorer and I'll provide that link in the description for the same. Open it. Go to the downloads tab. Copy Meepop APK. Go to system. Then prep apps and paste this meepop.apk here. Then find the APK file. Put a tick in front of it. Press on the three dots on the bottom right corner of your screen. Then click on permissions. Uncheck the two boxes which are groups and others below the right option and click on OK. It, sh it says permission granted successfully. Now next step is opening Lucky Patcher. If you don't know how to you can install it then it's pretty easy. Download the APK and install it on your phone. Now click on toolbox. Click on patch to android. Wait for some time and a pop-up will appear in front of you. Click on OK. As you can see, there are three texts written in green on the top and the bottom two are written in red. You don't have to do anything with the red ones but you have to put a tick in front of the green ones. I cannot put a tick because I've already done that and I've rebooted my phone. But as you can see it says patch applied in at the bottom of all three green texts. So go ahead, put a tick and click on apply. Wait for some time and reboot your phone. So I'll just reboot my phone and I'll be back soon. Hi friends, I'm back and I've rebooted my phone. As you can see, a Mi Pop floating window has already appeared on my screen, which has a home button. But if one doesn't appear on your screen, then go ahead and search for the Mi Pop app, open it and put a tick in front of it, Mi Pop and it appears. You can select the default key which appears at the uh, one glance. You can select between back key and home key. I would rather select back key. Now to get the other navigation keys, just swipe across it. As you can see, all the four keys have appeared. So, thanks for watching this video. Do make sure that you subscribe to our channel, press the thumbs up button and leave your comments in the comment section below. And I would like to give a special thanks to that user of ours. Bye bye now, you guys have a great day.